Thing hero. When Pithra came out, everyone! And but everyone still the, is. Where's, where's the Sora? Anyway, getting into the game right now. They did spans and uh, chose PS2. Getting right into it, we're going to be looking at a very projectile-heavy match between the Toon Link and the Mega Man. Going to be seeing bombs, boomerangs, metal blades, uh, salads. Everything in the menu. Ooh, all right. Nera actually getting the trip right there. All yeah. right. King Ark right now using Leaf Shield to get himself some space, set up his metal blades. And honestly, Spoopy is not falling for it. You know, most players, if you're not too familiar with how Mega Man works, that Leaf Blade comes close to you, you're going to break out a shield. You're not going to shield anymore. But Spoopy really waited it out. And um, King Ark had to fall back and think of a better plan. Mm -hmm. I really like what Spoopy did there. When he got the Crash Bomber stuck to him, he uh, went shielded next to ledge so that when King Art came up and did any sort of option, the Crash Bomber went right back on him. Absolutely. And now um, <clears throat> we saw Spoopy earlier going against um, a Joker and a Captain Falcon. And what they're really known for or like really good with are their bomb setups. You get hit by that bomb, and you're going to get hit by a, a, a really strong either up tilt or an up air. And that's really shining through in King Arc's, um, in going against King Arc. Mm -hmm. Although first stock there, all, all Spoopy needed was a nice F tilt off the ledge. Uh, I think King Arc actually uh, was hoisted by, uh, by their own petard, by the, the crash bomber, forcing them off ledge. Yeah, and honestly, this is something where King Arc has to close out the stock as soon as as he can and you know what he heard me go. he heard me yep the instant uh ledge trump into the back air uh, mega man i think has the first or second fastest back air in the game if i remember correctly honestly i'm gonna believe you because i see it very clearly in um king arts play it is, it's a it's a good move an incredibly good move all right, so we're looking at a somewhat even game. Uh, King Arc now on the board with the first stock, only 30% uh, on Spoopy. Uh, looking to set stuff up with the Leaf Shield right there. Looking for a grab right now. Wow, I really love how, and it's kind of funny, how both King Arc and Spoopy angle both Metal Blade and their bomb and their boomerangs at the exact same angle. So they both um, get clanked and be unable to use. And I know that's something that's going to be kept in mind from the back of their minds. And I guess because of that, they're familiar with the angle. Oh, yeah, no. And it's it's great, too, because it works as a sort of defensive option, too, because you're able to neutralize the opponent's projectile without having to, you know, shield it or anything. Yeah, what? and honestly, um, I don't want to call these characters similar, but um, their play styles, or at least these two, these two players' play styles, kind of mirror each other with their use of projectiles into falling into another um, move. And because of that, they're familiar with what the person's going to do. That bomb isn't thrown just for the sake of throwing a bomb. Right. All right. King Ark now with a little bit of a lead uh, has to get back on stage, though. And Spoopy with the uh, two-frame F-tilt going to be taking King Ark's second stock. Spoopy now uh, just on the last bit of his second stock but able to get 33% extra credit and potentially counting. And Spoopy at 173 now. King Ark really needs to close out the stock because we saw how high of a percentage King Ark got and we saw how much damage. Ooh, there Spoopy we go, finally the hard gave. knuckle. That was good. I like blinked and it, I heard the sound. Mm -hmm. I like what uh, King Ark did just there uh, with the empty jump to get a air dodge out of Spoopy, but didn't get much out of it. Leaf Shield coming out once more. Ooh, Ooh that was a that really was... tricky little angle there with the Metal Blade. That I, was cute. Oh. King Ark's been doing a lot of these uh, backwards, backwards down uh, Metal Blades, and they're they're fun to watch. They are, because um, King Ark knows where it's going to go. King Ark knows exactly how they're going to react to it. And they're gonna use it. Oh, Ooh. that was a cute little setup if it worked. It could have been the game if uh, the spacing was just a little bit better. Hard Knuckle is such a powerful spike. Getting metal. that metal blade, and honestly, it's real—it's um, King Art realizing that he has to throw more projectiles. He has to. <laughs> ooh, 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 it's a. <laughs> the back air shield train. Yeah. 
Ooh. There we go. Finally, a nice uh, grab, which um, honestly, Scoopy is using a lot of shielding. Honestly, you should when you're going against this many projectiles. Mm -hmm. And right. um, King Hawk hasn't been really punishing him with grabs. But oh, 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 I don't think Backdoor should do it yet. No, not not yet. Oh, 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 oh got clipped no. by the boomerang! Oh, uh, yeah, oh. King Hawk definitely could have made that back had it not been the little, little sneaky boomerang the right there. The tiniest little love tap by that boomerang was enough to seal King Ark's fate. Did this it? is definitely <laughs> like... Oh, that's so sad. It is a little pokery doo, doo It was angled because Spoopy went so deep for the edge guard. The boomerang, like, curved vertically mm -hmm. and went out just enough to clip King Ark. It was a blessing in disguise. Or not so much a blessing. If you're spoopy, you could absolutely chalk that up to having 5,000 IQ and passing all of your geometry classes. That was definitely, um, you know, I'll take that moment yeah. in Smash. And here we are getting into game two. Oh my goodness, the switch from blue link to red link. Another one of the four swords. And um, it's here we are. got that Goron, Goron tunic on. Exactly. On. Now we're here at um, game two. <laughs> I can't help but like throw a little giggle whenever I see Boomerang and Metal, uh, metal, metal Blade metal blade Clank. Just because they're exactly at the same angle. All right, King Ark's getting a lot of these uh, lemons right now. The uh, walking forward lemons into the, the jump. Which does set up for a sort of low angle knockback. Yeah, he's getting a lot out of these uh, approaching lemons right now. Yeah, but still, um, Scoopy is able to um, contest King Ark's um, projectiles better than King Ark can contest Scoopy's projectiles. Yeah, no, King Ark's been getting these sort of nickel and dimes right now, but Spoopy's, <laughs> Spoopy's robbing the whole bank. <laughs> Ooh, nice parry, but wasn't able to get the Metal Blade out in time. Going to be forced back to neutral. Ooh. Oh, that's two oh, bombs yeah. into a forward air. Spoopy's bomb setups are gorgeous. Honestly, they're so frightening because um, if you don't know what's gonna come, you're gonna be like, okay, one bomb isn't going, isn't that much, but it's the bomb plus whatever move Spoopy has planned. That was great it's timing. It's a two in one right deal. There. Yeah, it was. Now, once again, it is on King Ark to get uh, Spoopy's first stock. Honestly, it's been really hard to see uh, King Ark, or rather, King Ark's having a relative, a pretty difficult time just closing the stocks out. And that's not something too familiar of King Ark's playstyle, really. King Ark is very known for just taking stocks. Oh, there you go. There we but, go, finally. Right, but with 99, definitely have to be careful, and honestly, Every projectile is something to look out for. Yeah, no, uh, that entire last stock, Spoopy getting 99% extra credit, mostly off projectiles that King Ark has just not been doing the best job of finding his way around, just running into boomerang after bomb, uh, trying, you know, just shielding them with his face. Wow, that Zare was enough to, like, make King Ark jiggle a bit and... Uh, all right into that. Wow. That was a risky boomerang to be hit by. Back throw, not going to do it yet. Mega Man, he is a super fighting robot, so he's a little heavier than he looks. But the oh. F tilt, going to be doing it. Only 36% on Spoopy. Not looking great for King Ark if he continues to take all of the these chip damages that he's been getting already off stage. All right, Spoopy kind of reset to neutral right there. Yeah, and honestly, with this many projectiles, You'd want to block out King Ark. You want to just throw out as many moves as you can so that your opponent can't even bother to touch you. The only damage you're, you're going to end up getting are from the pellets and maybe from your own bombs. Yeah, no, uh, I completely agree with the decision to return to neutral there just because, you know, Scooby's already gotten 75% extra, another extra credit. All right, back air going to be putting King Ark off stage. Oh, wow, that just a, that was so close to getting that fair, but not enough to take it, and that would have been the stop. That was a fair or a back air? Uh, forward air, I think. They're very... Oh, oh no, there's no barely. way that happened. 
I, he wow. neutral get up into, I think, just the very last hitbox. That did not just happen. I, what was that noise? <laughs> that was Tink. I, <laughs> that was like... How long do you have to wait down there for that? Uh, wow. Forever. What was that? Yeah. Look at that! He stood there! <laughs> okay. All right. No, that's <laughs> exactly too. my face. Exactly. Me too. Let's see if I... Like that. It's my exact thoughts. I don't know. The little um, grunt that Tink made was 